News about police imposed a Joshua Iganjo's intention to contest for the Njoro parliamentary seat left many questioning the essence of Chapter 6 of the Constitution on leadership and integrity. According to Iganjo, his tainted image cannot bar him from attaining his political ambition. ESCC says only the Kenyan electorate can say no to his ambition. Let that become the national conversation. But to us as institutions, we shall go by what we have been given under the law and try as much as possible to fulfill that on our part. In the run-up to the 2013 elections, members of parliament massacred the law on leadership and integrity, watering it down that it eventually lost its intended purpose of ensuring leaders with questionable character are barred from vying for elective seats. Then it was projected that a good number of serving MPs who had pending cases in court, among them President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto, would be locked out. At the time, the two were facing crimes against humanity cases at the International Criminal Court in The Hague. Six months to the August polls, quite a number of MPs, governors and politicians are facing court cases relating to integrity. But the two bodies, IEBC and ESCC, feel things are out of their hands. I think everybody is innocent until proved guilty, Do you know that. <laughs> so really you can't say so and so is questionable character. And in any case, the best people to judge are the Kenyans. They, if they know so and so is questionable, they should not vote for that person. Yeah, so I think we look at it also from that aspect. Currently, IEBC relies on clearing certificates on integrity questions to give politicians seeking elective offices a note. But the anti-graft agency and IEBC have set up a team that will formulate rules to vet candidates before clearing them to run for post during the general election. This team We'll work together well, from both sides and hopefully in a week's time we shall have a report so that we can move forward. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission has admitted that it has a very little role when it comes to ensuring that Kenyans elect leaders of integrity. That ball is in the court of Kenyan voters. Enoxicolia, NTV.